おはようございます。英語ニュースの時間です。2023年7月14日の英語ニュースと日本語訳をお伝えします。それでは、最初のニュースはこちらです。Amazon sells deep peer review to gear patrol。Amazon がドプリービューをギアパトロールに売却。After Amazon announced the shutdown of Deep Peer Review, several entities expressed interest in buying the site. However, private equity offers were rejected. Deep Peer Review staff were not informed about the company's plans. Eventually, Amazon sold the site to Gear Patrol, with 10 Deep Peer Review employees joining the new team. Amazon がドプリービューの閉鎖を発表しました後、複数の企業がドプリービューの買収に興味を示しました。しかし、プライベートエクイティからの申し出は拒否されました。ドプリービューのスタッフは会社の計画について知らされていませんでした。結局、アマゾンはサイトをギアパトロールに売却し、ドプリービューの従業員10人が新しいチームに加わりました。ダブルコート。続いてのニュースはこちらです。シンベイロボティクス receives 28 million dollars in funding for retail inventory robot. シンベロボティクス、小売在庫ロボットで2800万ドルの資金調達。シンベロボティクス、a company focused on front of store operations, has announced that it has received 28 million dollars in Series B funding.This funding brings their total funding to 54 million dollars.Simbi's robot, Tally, is designed to monitor shelves for missing items and can help retailers automate inventory management tasks. The funding will enable Simbe to expand its vision and partner with more retail companies worldwide. 店舗前作業に特化したシンベロボティクス社です。シリーズ B で2800万ドルの資金調達を受けました。この資金調達により、同社の資金調達総額は5400万ドルに達しました。シンベ社のロボットタリーは、棚に欠品がないかを監視するように設計されています。小売業者の在庫管理業務の自動化を支援することができます。今回の資金調達により、シンベはビジョンを拡大し、世界中のより多くの小売企業と提携することが可能になります。続いてのニュースはこちらです。Instagram's Threads App Update brings new features and bug fixes。Instagram のスレッドアプリのアップデートが新機能とバグ修正をもたらす。Instagram software engineer Cameron Roth shared the news of the app's update on Threads. The update includes the ability to use the app on iOS 17 without crashing, along with smaller quality of life improvements. However, major features like a chronological feed, edit button, multiple account support, and post search are not included in this update. Roth also mentioned upcoming features such as alt text and a following feed. The engineer addressed the lack of a desktop version, stating that it needs to be built in the future. インスタグラムのソフトウェアエンジニアであるキャメロン・ロスです。アプリのアップデートのニュースをスレッドで共有しました。このアップデートには、iOS17 でクラッシュしないでアプリを使用できる機能と、小さなクオリティオブライフの改善が含まれています。しかし、時系列フィード、編集ボタン、複数アカウントのサポート、投稿検索などの主要な機能は、今回のアップデートには含まれていませんでした。ロート氏はまた、今後の機能として ALT テキストやフォローフィードについても言及しました。エンジニアは、将来的にデスクトップ版を構築する必要があると述べました。続いてのニュースはこちらです。Amazon's Prime Day sees record sales and savings。Amazon のプライムデー。過去最高の売上と割引率。Amazon's two-day Prime Day event resulted in record-breaking sales, with shoppers purchasing over 375 million items, up from 300 million last year. The first day saw a 6% increase in U.S. sales compared to the previous year, reaching $6.4 billion, while the second day saw a 6.4% increase, totaling $6.3 billion. Amazon shares also rose by 2.1% in pre-market trading. Customers spent more per order this year, with an average order size of $54.05. Prime members saved over $2.5 billion across deals, and top categories included home goods, fashion, and beauty. 
Sales were driven by various categories, including appliances, housekeeping supplies, electronics, apparel, and office supplies. Additionally, Adobe's data revealed that consumers are increasingly comfortable shopping on smartphones, which accounted for 44.8% of sales on the second day. Amazon です。プライムデーは記録的な売上となりました。買い物客は昨年の3億点を上回る3億7500万点以上の商品を購入しました初日の米国での売上高は前年比 6% 増の64億ドル2日目は 6.4% 増の63億ドルでしたアマゾンの株価も市場前取引で 2.1% 上昇しました今年顧客は1回の注文により多くの金額を使い平均注文額は 54.05 ドルでした。プライム会員は25億ドル以上を節約し、上位カテゴリーには家庭用品、ファッション、美容が含まれます。家電、家事用品、電子機器、アパレル、事務用品など、さまざまなカテゴリーが売り上げを牽引しました。さらに、アドビのデータでは、消費者がスマートフォンでの買い物をますます快適にしていることが明らかになり、2日目の売上高の 44.8% を占めました。続いてのニュースはこちらです。Grammarly deprecates text editor SDK to focus on AI integration。Grammarly がテキストエディター SDK を廃止、AI 統合に注力。Grammarly, the popular writing assistance tool, has announced the deprecation of its text editor SDK. To prioritize the integration of artificial intelligence, AI, into its core product. The decision comes as the company aims to meet the growing demand from enterprises and address the challenges they face. The SDK, which allowed developers to embed Grammarly's text editing capabilities into their applications, will no longer be available to developers unless they purchase the service. While this move may inconvenience developers who have relied on the SDK, Grammarly claims to have been working with the community to minimize the impact. 人気の文章作成支援ツール Grammarly です。Grammarly は人工知能 AI をコア製品に統合することを優先するためテキストエディタ SDK の非推奨化を発表しました。この決定は同社が企業からの高まる需要に応え企業が直面する課題に対処することを目的としています。グラマーリーのテキスト編集機能を開発者のアプリケーションに組み込むことを可能にしていた SDK は、開発者がサービスを購入しない限り利用できなくなります。この動きは、SDK に依存していた開発者に不便を強いるかもしれませんが、グラマーリーは影響を最小限に抑えるためにコミュニティと協力してきたとしています。続いてのニュースはこちらです。Exploring the insecurity of IoT devices. Fireside chat with Amit Serper at TechCrunch Disrupt 2023. IoT デバイスの安全性を探る TechCrunch Disrupt 2023でのアミットサーパーとの Fireside Chat. Amit Serper, Director of Security Research at Sternum IoT, will be joining the security stage at TechCrunch Disrupt 2023. To discuss the growing problem of IoT security. In the session titled Exploring the Insecurity of Things, Serper will highlight the vulnerabilities of smart home tech and internet connected devices and the necessary measures to secure them. With the prevalence of IoT devices and the threats they face, this session aims to shed light on the major risks and ways to mitigate them. The discussion will also touch upon the efforts by the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA. To hold manufacturers accountable for the security of their devices. 与えられた文章はありません。続いてのニュースはこちらです。Crypto lending firm Celsius Network and former CEO face multiple lawsuits and fraud charges. 暗号融資会社セルシウスネットワークと元 CEO、複数の訴訟と詐欺容疑に直面。Celsius Network, a bankrupt crypto lending firm, and its former CEO Alex Mashinsky are facing lawsuits from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, and the Federal Trade Commission, FTC. Mashinsky has also been arrested and charged with fraud. 
the company and Mashinsky are accused of defrauding customers and making false promises of high returns. The SEC has also classified Celsius Token Cell in its Earn Interest Program as securities. Celsius filed for bankruptcy in 2022 after freezing customer assets. EU to lift import restrictions on Japanese food. The European Union EU, has announced that it will lift the import restrictions on Japanese food, which have been in place since the aftermath of the Tokyo Electric Power Company's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident. The regulations are set to be completely lifted as early as next month. Heavy rainfall and severe weather warnings in Japan. Due to the active movement of a front, rain clouds have developed in the Kinki, Hakuriku, and northern Kanto regions, with extremely heavy rain falling in northern Kanto. Caution is advised for potential landslides, flooding in low-lying areas, as well as intense gusts such as lightning and tornadoes. On the other hand, as the front moves northward, there is a possibility of heavy rain in Tohoku around Sunday, the 16th of May. It is recommended to take early precautions.彼は元気だ。彼は頭がいい。彼は勉強熱心だ。彼は昨日来た。彼は元気だった。彼は元気だった。彼は元気だった。編集後の文章は以下の通りです。より大きい、より大きい。y Big Motors Fraudulent Car Insurance Claims Revealed Big Details of an external investigation report submitted by the company in the case of Big Motor, a used car sales company intentionally damaging cars and fraudulently claiming car insurance money from three major insurance companies have been revealed. The report highlights malicious acts such as swinging golf balls and socks to expand the range of damage and hitting cars to cause additional scratches. Fukuoka Prefecture's Kurume City experiences extensive flooding due to record-breaking heavy rain. Experts conducted a local investigation into the damage caused by widespread flooding in Kurume City, Fukuoka Prefecture, resulting from the unprecedented heavy rainfall. It was revealed that the rainwater overflowed without proper drainage, leading to internal flooding of over one meter. Kurume City has been facing annual incidents of internal flooding, prompting experts to emphasize the necessity of collaborative measures between the local government and residents to enable early evacuation decisions. Over 5 million cancelled My Number cards included in the 87 million cards issued, reveals Ministry of Internal Affairs. マイナンバーカード発行8700万枚に解約500万枚帳が含まれることが明らかに総務省。The Ministry of Internal Affairs has revealed that approximately 5 million My Number cards, which have been cancelled due to reasons such as death, are included in the total of 87 million cards issued. This revelation comes amidst a series of troubles surrounding the My Number card system. 与えられた文章はありません。続いてのニュースはこちらです。High school student impersonates railway employee and enters train driver's cabin. 高校生が鉄道職員になりすまして運転室に侵入。
A male high school student in Tokyo, Japan, who is a train enthusiast, has been reported to the family court by the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department for impersonating an employee of a Junior East subsidiary and entering the driver's cabin of a running train. U.S. Secretary of State Blinken and Chinese Politburo member Wang Yi hold diplomatic talks in Indonesia. ブリンケンマイ国務長官と王毅中国政治局員がインドネシアで外交会談。A meeting between U.S. Secretary of State Blinken and Chinese Politburo member Wang Yi, who oversees foreign affairs in China, began on the evening of the 13th in Indonesia, where an international conference is being held. 与えられた文章はありません。That's all we have for today. 本日のニュースはこれで全てです。それでは良い一日をお過ごしください。